Hi, uh, my name is Charlie Wendell. I'm standing for council this year in the, the 2016 elections. Um, I'd like to bring back some accountability to council, uh, try to control some of our debt with responsible spending. Um, I'm a definite community-minded person. I've done several things around town. I've been around town for a while. I'm a local business owner, so I do know the local business scene. And that, that's one of the big reasons I'm standing, because I want to get involved with, with our local town to promote our beautiful city. Thanks, Charlie. Now, tell me, you know, you want to bring some more accountability back into council. What, what's your, what's, how do you view it at the moment? Well, I think they've done a pretty good job, but it just appears some, some of the things seem to have been um, on the appearance rushed through because we're, my wife and I own Mahigan's Cafe up in the Central Mall, and we're there with a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people have been talking to us over the years now, and it just appears that some things um, are rushed through. Now, maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but it would be nice to have some sort of um, press release or some kind of consultation with the, with the members of the public just to let us know what's going on a bit, bit more. So within council, there's, there's, this current council, there's various factions. You know, you've got Steve Chadwick at one end and her supporters, and then you've got another group down the other, the other end of the spectrum. Where do you sit on that spectrum? Um, you hate to say you want to ride the fence, but probably, probably more towards Stevie's side because they seem to be more positive, uh, but not, not completely that way because um, people that know me know I'm a strong, independent-minded independent person. And I say what's on my mind, which sometimes gets me in trouble, which sometimes is good. Probably more times in trouble with my wife, but guys being married know that. Uh, so I definitely intend to, to remain a strong, independent person and just not go with the status quo. That, that's not my, not my motive. So, the, um, so a couple of quick fire questions for you. Um, the Green Corridor, the cycleway, do you support it? Yes, no? Yes, but in a different location. I know that was more than no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you like the cycleway, but it should be somewhere else. I think it's a great concept. I don't believe it should have been gone through the middle of town. Yeah. Okay. A number of mayoral candidates uh, campaigning that um, future um, rate increases shouldn't be more than 2%. Do you support that? I did not agree to that, no. No. Um, the health hub in town at the library has been quite a controversial subject. Do you support that? Yes. You do? And the Te Arawa Partnership, which is where a lot of the uh, friction came from in council, do you support that? Yes, I do. You do. And Tommy, just finally, a little personal anecdote. What would people like to know about Charlie? Um, what you'd like to know about Charlie was that I came here in 1997 and worked for about 18 months and met my New Zealand wife at a Chiefs rugby game at the International Stadium. And her, I basically pinched her taxi after the game and her first words to me were, you arrogant American bastard. And three months later, we got married. And that was 18 years ago. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so, I'm not going anywhere. 